Now this is a heck of a translation tool. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and you know, I can remember traveling around the world and carrying books like this. This is English, French, French, English, right? And you'd be like, hmm, I really want to ask for this particular kind of food, but I have no idea what the word is. So you'd look it up clumsy as heck. So smartphones started to do translation, which is great, but then you have to carry your phone. You have to make sure it's charged. All of that little tricky. Enter this. This is the Langogo Summit Pro Pocket Translator. Now, Langogo has had other devices that they've sort of learned from, and so this represents a lot of successive and refined engineering, and it does a lot of things, and it does them pretty darn well. So, let me tell you that it supports 104 languages. Now, you will have to be online to use it, so you will need Wi-Fi. Turns out it can be its own hotspot. So by putting in a SIM card or an eSIM, you could actually have it support itself online. Or of course, if you have convenient Wi-Fi or internet access, this will work just fine for that, which means every single college, every single high school, really the vast majority of urban places anywhere in the world is probably gonna, they'll, you know, work just fine. So what does it do? Well, it has three primary modes. It does real-time language translation, it does photo translation, and it can also just record and transcribe in any of dozens and dozens and dozens of languages. So, what I wanna do is I wanna take you through the different features and different modes that it has, and to do that, I want you to be able to see the screen, which is pretty far away right now. So we're gonna to switch to some demos of the different modes. Now, before we get there, let me just give you a quick heads up. Here's a screenshot and you can see the primary features are intelligent recording, which is to record in a specified language and then do real-time transcription, super handy. It does not translate, but it's really, really helpful if you just need a transcription that maybe you'll study later. Then there's interpreter mode, and that's a simultaneous translation. And that one coming down the road, there will be support for the wireless earbuds where you have one in each speaker's ear, and that will help with the translation. Not quite there yet, but it should be by the time it's shipping. This is a pre-shipping unit. Then there's translation mode, and that can translate either language to the other and transcribe and translate, so pretty handy. And that one works like a walkie-talkie. You push the little side button and you talk, and then it figures out what language it is and offers that same thing in the other language of the two you've chosen. Speech translation lets you speak and then it records and transcribes and then translates. And finally, there's photo translation, which does what you would think. You take a photograph of something in another language and then it translates it to English. So let me just show you the photo translate real quick. So here's one of the books I've written and this happens to be the Japanese edition of it. Now, I've never actually known what the Japanese edition said because I don't speak Japanese. But the good news is that I can use the Langogo Summit Pro. So I'm going to just take, let me make sure this is out of the picture. I'm gonna just take a picture of the cover. And I know you can't see what's going on, but it's processing it. I'll have a close up and you'll see exactly what's going on in a moment. But for now, it's doing the translation. And sometimes this can be a little slow. There's a lot of data to push up and then you know, sort of figure out an OCR and then translate. So it is chugging along. In fact, tell you what, let's just let that keep going while I tell you that the sixth feature is a Wi-Fi hotspot with support for anywhere in the world. Obviously, you have to get a SIM and you'll need to have a service, but this can also serve as a Wi-Fi hotspot. How cool is that? Let's see, how's the translation doing? Eh, it's still working. Okay, so I'll give you some more specs. This unit is built on the MTK6739 quad-core 1.5 gigahertz CPU chip with 32 gig of ROM and 2 gig of RAM. Because you're online, it automatically pushes everything up to the cloud. So what this means 
is for example, you could use this in a meeting with a colleague and then that the notes of that meeting automatically are pushed up to the cloud for later archival purposes. Very helpful. It, this features, oh, we got the translation. So now I can zoom in or I can tap on the view text and then I can see that at least the second line on the back here <laughs> says method of the most common system of the draft work system. How many journeys do you need? I'm not sure that's exactly what it says, but it is still pretty darn interesting and it's a whole lot better than what I would guess looking at this Japanese book. So, all right, back to the specs. So this features, like I said, it's obviously battery powered and it is built on top of a, let me go back a little further. Here we go. So it's built on a 3250 milliamp hour battery, which takes about two and a half hours for a full charge and will give you five hours of use. Any point you're not using it, you will want to turn it off. It doesn't seem to have an auto turn off feature, which took me a while to figure out. I kept having the battery go away <laughs> and I had to recharge it. So remember to turn it off when you're done. In the final version, it might actually have an automatic off feature, which is helpful. Um, one of the things that's really notable is it has four microphones because it actually has microphones with specific positioning so that when I'm in certain modes, you might sit across from me and maybe you're speaking Russian or Polish or Thai and then I'm speaking Spanish or Greek or English and it will automatically listen on the side that's appropriate and then translate from that language to the other language. It's a really slick feature actually. So if you were in that mode and you turned it the other way, everything would be haywire because it would hear this side as louder and assume that you were speaking in the other language. So it is important to orient it correctly, but there are four microphones on this unit, one in each corner basically. And there's also a built-in camera. It's an 800 megapixel camera. And that obviously is what I just used to take a picture of the book cover and translate it. But enough of me talking, let's jump into those demos. So we'll start with the intelligent recording. And for this, I have a YouTube video in Russian. So I'm going to start intelligent recording and I'm going to start the recording going, which I just do this and then I'll press play. И первое, давайте посмотрим выражение. Они у вас есть? Мы сразу очень быстро посмотрим лексику, которую не надо. And let's pause this and pause the recording. And now, since I'm done with that, and you can see it transcribed it, and I push the button, and it tries to keep up. But when you're done, you push transcribe. It uploads it to the cloud, and then it delivers a full transcription after just a couple of moments. And obviously this will work in any of, well, while that's going on, in any of 100 plus languages. So that is quite impressive. So let's go to the next feature. Next up, let's try interpreter mode. And that I have set to English and Japanese. But since I'm on the lower side, it actually uses the positional microphones to figure out what's going on. I'm going to switch because I don't speak Japanese, but I do speak English. So let's see how this works. Thanks for coming over. I hope you're having a good time. Simple and elegant. You push to pause it. I go back. I will go back again. So that's interpreter mode. Let's try translation now. And this, you can see I've set it up for English to Chinese back and forth and it'll automatically detect which language you're speaking and then it will translate to the other and there's a push button on the side that lets you actually manage this. So I hope you're finding these demonstrations interesting. It's surprisingly tricky to get them all set up. There you go. I'm not real good in my Chinese, but luckily I have this device. 
Then there's one more mode, speech translation, and this one basically records in one language and then shows the translation. So let's go ahead and I'll demonstrate this. Thank you for coming to my meeting, everybody. I am hoping that you will all find the presentation interesting and invest in my company. Then I can pause it and the check mark means I'm done. And then I can tap and see the whole thing. That's about as easy as it gets. So there's one more mode I want to show. And that is I want to show photo translation. And to do that, I'm going to have to move the camera around because I want to show you a sign and then let it translate it. So you're walking through Sweden and you come across this sign and you can guess that it says stop, don't take pictures, but I don't want to guess. I'm going to use photo translator. I've already specified Swedish to English and I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture and then it will actually do the translation. And what it tries to do is it tries to superimpose the English over the other language or the target language over the source language, but that's a little hard to read. So you can choose view text. And now we can see against access without permission to photograph, depict, describe, or measure the protective object without special permission according to the law. And MacBook Pro is because at the very bottom it actually says MacBook Pro. Now, let's try this. So this sign is in Chinese. So now I'm going to switch languages from Swedish. You can get that to work. We're going to choose Chinese. And this one's a little harder to interpret because obviously there are no pictures. So what does this say? Let's find out. Same process. All I'm going to do is take the photo and let it do the work. And it takes a couple of seconds. Of course, those of you that know Chinese are saying, oh, come on, that's an obvious sign. But I don't read Chinese, so we'll let this do the work and see what we get. There we go. It took a while, but again, choose view text. And now you can see Chinese street sign JPG. Well, we knew that. And it says, please take good care of and protect establishment of excellent health care, American water environment and cigarettler. I'm not sure what that means, but it's a little confusing what the sign says, but it's still a whole lot easier to try to read it in this English translation than in the original Chinese if you don't speak Chinese. So. Let me come back on camera and let me talk about the strengths and weaknesses and the pros and cons of this Langogo Summit Pro. Lots of interesting features and lots of cool things in terms of being able to work with people from around the world. Um, obviously using it on TV shows or movies might be moving a little fast for you, but if you see an ad and you want to record it and then study the translation later, this can manage that kind of thing. So there are some limitations. It's not the babble fish from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy yet, but it's a very slick piece of hardware. Now, let me tell you, it's a four inch screen and the unit itself is 4.7 inches by 2.4 inches by half an inch thick. It's about 5.8 ounces. It's really light, possibly about the same weight as your smartphone, but yeah, somewhere around there. It is pretty durable. It does not have a case. It does have a screen protector that they have automatically put on, which helps your screen obviously stay intact. That's good. And in the box, assuming this is exactly what will be in the final box, there are some helpful instructions to get you started. And I will say it's complicated. It took me a good while to figure out exactly how all of this worked and the nuances between the different features and capabilities. It's entirely possible you will use the wrong mode and then you'll say, oh, wait a minute, that's not right. Let's switch back. So it's okay. This is a sophisticated device and it's going to take you some practice. So it includes a USB-C to USB-3 charging cable because on the bottom there is in fact a USB-C plug. That's how you charge it. 
So on the left side, there is a, a SIM card slot, just like you would see on a smartphone. The top and the bottom have microphones. The top also, I believe, has the speaker. And then on the right-hand side, there's a power button, there's the push to talk button, and then there's volume up and down. So to some extent, it's like a really specialized Android phone, but obviously it's a little more sophisticated than that. So finally, in the box is also a SIM removal tool, and that's pretty much everything. You can see by the fact that this is a sticker on the box. This is still a prototype. So your mileage might vary just a little bit. This might not be exactly how the final version will work. I know they're gonna have at least one software iteration to have this work more smoothly, but even in its current state, this is a really cool tool. And I really wish I could pop out to some other country and try it because when I've been in places like France and I've tried to order at restaurants, it's been kind of a disaster. So if I could just say something like, can I please have I don't know, um, some pasta for dinner and a glass of white wine and then have it actually say that correctly in, Fr in French would be a delight. <laughs> I would get much better meals actually using this tool. So definitely one to check out. So how do you check it out? Well, it's on Kickstarter right now. But before we go down that particular road, let me ask if you can subscribe to my channel. I review lots and lots of interesting consumer electronics gear and really appreciate when you subscribe. So there should be a red subscribe button. Just tap or click on it and you just subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, this is the Langogo Summit Pro Pocket Translator and it's going to retail for $499, but on Kickstarter through the end, approximately the end of October, it's $299. And if you're thinking that that sounds like a pretty good deal, you wouldn't be alone. They aimed to get $6,000 worth of sales on Kickstarter. And when I last checked, they were just about at 80,000. So that's like 1600% of their goal. A lot of people are excited about this product and I think this is gonna be a great addition to anyone who either travels the world or just interacts with people who speak a lot of different languages because this will save your um, bacon. <laughs> so it is important to know that that Kickstarter campaign at some point will run out and then I would say look on Amazon for the Langogo Summit Pro if you do a lot with multiple languages, if you're just trying to figure out a better way to get along, this is definitely one to check out. So with that, hang on, let's see if I can get this to work. I will say thanks very much for my talk and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> there you go. All right. And I'll see you in my next video.